All right, Shalom, Yasha Allah. Back with another GMS on the go. I'm Brother Nakum. I'm with the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and its only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next up, double harness to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone from teaching us this truth according to the Bible and rule well. And a double shalom to all the Sisiakim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and truth and sincerity to the best of your ability. You know, and I was able to get up today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shah, Yahweh being Heavenly Father. That's what the word he calls God, which in name means He is or He exists. And Yahweh Shah being the only begotten Son, that's what the word ignorantly calls Jesus, which in name means He saves or He delivers. You know, and I'm just going to get into a lesson today on all you heathen nations who are outside of the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, you are nothing to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim I'm going to say that again. All you heathen nations who are outside of the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, you are nothing to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bashim Shah. You know? So without further ado, I'm going to dive right into it, grab my first precept, and Lord willing, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, the elect, will be edified. All right. This is 2nd Edris, chapter 6, verse 54. And this is the Apocrypha that I'm reading out of. So again, this is 2nd Edris, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. That's right. So of Adam come we all. You see, because that's what everybody on the face of the earth like saying anyway. We all come from Adam. We all come from Adam. And that's true. Everybody on the face of the earth, all nations come from Adam. But it doesn't just stop right there. So we're going to read on. It says, And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Right. So not only do all nations come from Adam, but there's a chosen people also who comes from Adam. So we got to find out who this chosen people, you know, that also comes from Adam is. Because that's important to know. So I'm going to grab a preset real quick and I'm going to hold this and I'm going to come back to it. Because we got to find out who this chosen people is that also comes from Adam. <laughs> Okay, let's see. This is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 8. But thou, Israel, and Israel is a people before the place which represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the real biblical Hebrew Israelites. So I'm read that again. This is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 8. But thou, Israel... Art my servant, right? So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, you are Yahweh Bashim al Shah, who the world equally calls God and Jesus, servant. It reads on, Jacob, whom I have chosen. That's right. And when you read the scriptures, Jacob is our forefather, who name was changed to Israel after he wrestled the angel. So Jacob represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. You see. So Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Americans, you are Yahweh Bashim al Shah, you know, the God of the Bible, chosen people. You see? The Lord didn't choose the so-called Chinese. The Lord didn't choose the so-called Japanese. The Lord didn't choose the so-called Duty Africans. The Lord didn't choose um, the so-called white man. The Lord didn't choose the so-called Dai East Indians. The Lord didn't choose the um, so-called Arabs. The Lord chose you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, again, who are the real biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to the scriptures. It reads on, the seed of Abraham, my friend. That's right. So you so-called Negroes, Latino, Americans, you are the chosen people of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. You see, you so-called Negroes, Latino, Americans, you are that chosen people that also come from Adam. So I'm going to grab another preset real quick, just backing this one up. All right, 
This is Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1. Yet now here, O Jacob, my servant. And again, Jacob represents you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. So you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, you are Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah's servant. It reads on. And Israel, not Moab, the so-called Chinese, not Om Ham, the so-called Duden Africans, not Ammon, the so-called Japanese, not Om, Om Ishmael, the so-called Musty Arabs, not Esau, the so-called white man, not Elon, the so-called Dais Indians, not any of these other heathen nations. It said, in Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, whom I have chosen. So again, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Latinos, and Americans, you are Yahweh Bashem al Shah, the God of the Bible, chosen people according to the scriptures. You so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, you are that chosen people that also come from Adam. So I'm going to go back to second address now. All right. This is second address, chapter 6, verse 54. And after, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen, which we just proved two times. The chosen people of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. Verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Yahweh Shemal Shah, because thou madest the world for our sakes. That's right. And that word, our, is possessive. So it ain't talking about everybody. It ain't meant for everybody. That, that word, our, is referring to you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. You see? So the world was made for you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans' sake. It reads on, verse 56. As for the other people, right, as for the other people, the other nations that comes from Adam, the non-chosen. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, that has said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. Right, so you other heathen nations who are outside of the nation of Israel, you are nothing to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, and you have been likened unto spittle. And what is spittle? Spittle is spit. So that's showing you right there that the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son don't care about you, heathen nations. That's why they likened you unto spittle. You know? When anybody spit out they when anybody spit out their mouth, it's because what? They don't care about it. That's why they spit that spit out their mouth in the first place. Because they don't care about it. And that's how the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son feel about you, the nations. They don't care about you. That's why they have likened you unto spittle. That's why they just said you're nothing. It reads on. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. You know, and the vessel is like uh, a container, a bucket. You know, so you can let's say you carrying a bucket of water, you know, some liquid. And a drop out of that water, you know, that liquid falling hit the ground. You're not gonna be worried about that one little drop. You know, you're not gonna go crazy, you know, go home and lose sleep over that one little drop that fall from that own um, that water. You worry about the rest of that water that's in that bucket, you know, that container. Well again, that's how the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son feel about you heathen nations. They don't care about you. That's why they have likened you unto spittle. That's why they have likened you unto a drop that fall from a vessel. Because they don't care about you. The only ones that Yahweh Bashem actually care about is the nation of Israel. Starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. You know? So I'm going to grab my next precept. And again, Lord willing, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, the elect, are edified. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15. Behold, which behold means to look, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Right, so it's saying the same thing again that we just read in 2nd Edges, the own um, 6th chapter. All you heathen nations, Esau, the so-called white man, Moab and Ammon, the so-called Chinese and Japanese, Ham, the so-called Duden Africans, Elon, the so-called Dais Indians, 
Ishmael, the so-called musty Arabs, and anybody else I left out who are outside of the nation of Israel. All you heathen nations, you are likened unto a, a drop that falls from a bucket. Again, you're carrying a bucket of water. And out of all that water, only one little drop falls and hit the ground. You're not going to be worried about that one little drop of water that hit the ground. You see, you're not going to lose no sleep over that one little drop of water that hit the ground. You worry about the rest of that water that's in that bucket. You see? So again, that's showing you that the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shemashah, don't care about you either nation. That's why they have likened you unto a drop that falls from a bucket. It reads on, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. That's right. You know, a balance is used to weigh things. You know? So the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, they have counted you heathen nations as that small piece of dust on a balance. You know, and dust, you know, don't mean nothing. It's worthless. It's useless. And that's how the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son feel about you heathen nations. That's why they have counted you as a small um, dust of the balance. You heathen nations, y'all are worthless. Y'all are useless. Y'all are meaningless to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. It reads on, Behold, he taketh up the owls as a very little thing. But that was the point right there. You hear the nations, you are, at, you are as a drop that falls from a bucket. You are counted as a small dust of the balance. Yahweh Bashim al the God of the Bible, don't care about you, the nations. Never has and never will. I'm going to jump down to verse 17. This is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Right. So all nations before the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son, again, Esau, the so-called white man, Ham, the so-called duty Africans, Moab and Ammon, the so-called Chinese and Japanese, Ishmael, the so-called musty Arabs, Elon, the so-called Dais Indians, and anybody else I left out. That's outside of the nation of Israel. All you heathen nations, y'all are nothing to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. And not only are you nothing to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, it goes further to say you heathen nations are less than nothing to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. So that's showing you right there that the Heavenly Father, excuse my French, but the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son don't give a damn about you heathen nations. They don't care about you. The only nation that Yahweh Bashim al Shah has to care about, the only nation that Yahweh Bashim al Shah is dealing with, is the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. You see, because the nation of Israel is their chosen people. All you other heathen nations who are outside of the nation of Israel, the Lord, the, the, um, the Lord Yahweh Bashim al Shah, don't care about you. So I'm going to grab another precept. And Lord willing, this is probably my last one, because the point has been made. You heathen nations are nothing to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. All right, this is Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. This is Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. And again, Jacob represents you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. So this word was shown unto you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. It says, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. That's right. So the laws that came out to the Bible, the judgments that were shown unto you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. This is the point. Verse 20. He have not dealt so with any nation. So anybody outside of the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shemah who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus, they haven't dealt with you. All these, na all these nations I've been naming throughout this lesson, this whole time, Esau the so-called white man, Ham the so-called duty and Africans, Moab and Ammon, the so-called Chinese and Japanese, Ishmael, the so-called Musta Arabs, Elon, the so-called Dais Indians, and anybody else I left out that's not part of the nation of Israel. You heathen nations, the Lord is not dealing with you. You heathen nations, the Lord is not dealing with you. That's why he has likened you unto spittle. That's why he has counted you as a small dust of the balance. 
That's why he's liking you at the drop that falls from a bucket in a vessel. Because the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, is not dealing with you. He's only dealing with the nation of Israel. That's why the nation of Israel got shown the word. That's why the nation of Israel got shown the on the on the, the law statutes coming to the Bible and the judgments according to the Bible. You see? So Yahweh Shemashah, the God of the Bible, is not dealing with you, heathen nations, because y'all are nothing and less than nothing to them. It reads on. They have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh Bashimasha. Right. So these heathen nations, they haven't known Yahweh Bashimasha's judgment. They haven't known the commandments of the Bible because they won't give them to these heathen nations. Because Yahweh Bashimasha is not dealing with these heathen nations. You see? So that's my lesson. Lord willing, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, again, the elect, were edified. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor. All glory and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone from teaching us the truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double shalom to all the sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and truth and sincerity to the best of your ability. So again, you heathen nations who are outside of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, you are nothing to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Shalom.